There isn't a weeknight when Marvin, a writer we met in Berlin Kreuzberg, isn't out bombing the city. He took us to one of his favorite spots and told us why Berlin is such a great place for graffiti writers. Um, weil Graffiti halt eine, viel, eine, eine große Vielfalt hat, dass du, wie gesagt, du hast eine große Leinwand, wo du sprühen kannst. Die ganze Stadt ist wie eine Leinwand. Du, die, die Strafen sind echt, echt locker, wenn du sprühen gehen würdest, erwischt werden würdest. Scheißegal, uh, das Gesetz bedeutet nichts für mich. Ich geb schon immer einen Fick drauf, was richtig ist. Ich hab eine große Fresse, auch wenn du ein Grizzly bist. Mein Freund, ich bin wie ich bin, Mann, es ist. It won't take visitors long to realize that Berlin might just be the most bombed city in Europe, a haven for international graffiti artists. Thomas Peiser, a local street writer for more than two decades, knows the styles and artists that cover his hometown better than anyone else. Um, the yellow, maybe the blue, it looks to be the same. Yeah, I mean, like, the whole wall is a good example of, uh, yeah, like, difference between classical graffiti writing and uh, street art. And, like, here we have some uh, street art examples. It's just like, um, we have this tank, which is just done by roller paint. Fast pieces, or especially this fast piece, um, is like a perfect semi-white style. Semi-white style is like you have letters which are at the same time easy to read, but have such individual swings or connections or 3Ds or elements like arrows, which are all combined, that gives like much more energy to the letters and much more uh, 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 life or, so we would say just much more style. Um, right now we're in front of a wall which was done by the Italian street artist Blue together with the photographer JR from Paris. Uh, JR did the eyes of the characters as a poster and Blue was drawing the figures, the bodies so to say around it. Right here um, we see a piece by the uh, Berlin graffiti writer, his name is Inka. He's writing Inka, I-N-K-A, sometimes with a, with a C. This piece you would probably call uh, um, like a proper wild style, you know? In Kreuzberg, near where the Berlin Wall used to run, Thomas and his partners opened up Overkill, an urban streetwear store near Schlesisches Tor. Overkill shows just how established and even legal graffiti culture is in Berlin. Local writers buy their paint cans here. Peiser and his partners have published books on the graffiti scene. And once a year, he hosts a graffiti film festival in a back courtyard cinema down the street. You could say the Western world ended in Kreuzberg because you had the wall here, and uh, um, behind that was the there was like this was the Iron Curtain, and behind it was East Germany, Russia, and like the wo world ended here, and nobody wanted to live here in Berlin. A lot of graffiti writers live in this area, Kreuzberg, and of course they uh, walk around, and younger writers as well, and they they tag the streets and they do productions in in the area. Right now, today, Berlin is really, um, is really interesting for writers because the streets are full of graffiti, like nothing gets clean so fast and you can see graffiti everywhere. If you ride the train, like you have graffiti on both sides for miles and miles and then um, if you walk through the streets you have tags everywhere and you have colorful pieces and it's like a big city, big, jung big city jungle full of graffiti. The question is how much longer it will be that way. As Germany's capital becomes wealthier and rents increase, so will pressure to clean things up. In Berlin werden die Strafen halt immer härter. Mittlerweile kriegst du schon im schlimmsten Fall drei Jahre Knast. Wenn man bestellen. Also wenn man sprühen will, dann sollte man schnell nach Berlin kommen. Die Welt ist klein, denn ich betrachte sie von oben. Ich bin unerzogen, abgehoben. Haut ab, ihr Idiot. Ich trinke wie ein Loch. Doch das ist meine Sache. Warum ist das ein Problem? Weil ich's nicht heimlich mache. Ich bin immer ehrlich.